New this midday, he was long known for his work in civil rights and as a power broker in Washington, D.C. And he also made history right here in Indiana. His family says Vernon Jordan died Monday at his home in the nation's capital. Jordan was a native of Atlanta, Georgia. He ended up going to college at DePaul University at the urging of his mother. He was the only black member of DePaul's graduating class of 1957. Jordan later became the head of the National Urban League. And during his tenure, he was shot and seriously wounded by a white supremacist during a visit to Fort Wayne in 1980. Jordan would also become a trusted advisor and confidant to many people of power, most notably former President Bill Clinton. The cause of death has not been released at this time. Vernon Jordan was 85 years old.